After the Holocaust, survivors struggled to process immeasurable loss and calamity. Unable to confront the past, many buried their raging emotions and despair. There are two persons I, can, I cannot speak because I'm afraid of breaking down with my mother and my little sister. Because the moment we arrived in 1944, they went straight to the gas chamber. Elie Wiesel was reunited with his two surviving sisters in Paris after the war. What is remarkable really, now I think about it, that neither I nor they spoke about our experiences. To this day, B died, but Hilda is still alive. And we never spoke about it, simply out of fear that it would break down. For 10 years, Wiesel remained silent. I knew I was going to write to bear witness. I felt I knew I had to, because not, not to bear witness uh, to, to an event that one lived uh, is a betrayal of that event. I didn't know how. I was afraid of not finding the words. And I come from a mystical background where one can purify language through silence. And that's why really I was waiting for 10 years. So during the 10th year, I wrote it. One of the first survivors to shatter the culture of silence, when many were afraid to question, Wiesel found the courage to cry out to God, convinced that his faith was strong enough to survive. I have problems with God. That's because I, I believe in God. If I stopped believing in God, I would have no problems. But I do believe, and therefore I have problems, and I go on. Wiesel continues with positive resolve, not only for himself, but for others. But I'm not alone, and therefore I have no right to give in to despair. Not for my sake, but for the sake of the children, of my students, of their future, and, and, and their ambitions and their aspirations. Confronting his past, Wiesel finds inspiration in even the darkest moments. No one in the world has a sense of gratitude the way we express it to ourselves and to others. And that sense of gratitude prevails today. You have no idea what happiness means to those people who have seen everything taken away from them. To be free is important, but to help others be free is even more important.